Hello and welcome back to part four of Fight or Flight U.S. Presidents Edition. In this series, I talk about whether or not I can take these historic U.S. Presidents in hand-to-hand -hand combat. And as always, these decisions are based on my knowledge as a historian, my sheer lack of upper body strength, and my determination. All right, this week we're starting off strong with John Tyler, the 10th president of the United States. I am very quickly going to say fight on this one. This man was pro-manifest destiny, pro-slavery, and pro-confederacy. Not on my watch, sir. We're gonna fight. Will this man haunt me after the fact? You know what? Probably. But you gotta take a stand every once in a while. It's worth the risk. Fight. All right, up next we have James K. Polk. Now, I'm gonna go with flight on this one solely because he annexed the territory that would eventually lead to the creation of Oregon. And as somebody who's from Oregon, I just kind of feel like it's my responsibility to let him go on this one, so flight. And lastly, we have Zachary Taylor. Now I'm gonna go with flight on this one right off the bat because he is a war hero from the Mexican-American War. And when you look at me, do you think I'm somebody who could take a war hero? Like, let's be real. Politically, he also sided with more anti-slavery states in the North during the end of his presidency. So we'll let him go on that one, flight. And that does it for this round of Fight or Flight U.S. Presidents Edition. Don't forget to tune in next time when I talk about which historic U.S. Presidents I can take in hand-to-hand -hand combat.